I'm coming to you from South Florida. And if you like to design, build, be creative, wing it, watch people work on YouTube, you come to the right spot. Jack Pine's gonna show you a few things. Let's do this. Jack Fine, I'm about ready to talk about a Craig Universal Clamp Track. Let's check it out. So what this is, is a permanently mounted extruded aluminum track that's bolted from the bottom of the bench and its purpose is to receive these kind of clamps that are also Craig, whom doesn't sponsor me. So don't think this is a Craig commercial by any means. These clamps basically hold down material so you can work on it, drill it, plane it, do whatever you want to do with it. So I did install this track differently than what the instructions recommend and I do want to get into that but we're going to do that a little bit later. Uh, that was a pretty detailed uh, process so that's going to be that's going to be something we'll cover in a little bit. Uh, let's see what else. Oh clamp. I want to talk to you about the clamp a little bit. So, the clamp basically is, they come in two different sizes, a 6 inch and a 4 inch. This is the 6 inch, and it just works like a pair of vice grips, basically. It's got that technology that vice grips have. So, it's got this little uh, uh, righty tighty lefty loosey mechanism, just like a vice grip does. And one way tightens the, uh, the pressure, the pressure of that and the other way it loosens the under pressure of that so uh that's kind of how it works okay so uh what i want to show you here is this hole and uh notice that bolt and so that is how you connect the clamp to the track you just put it in that hole and then it becomes a t-track and it's good to go So look at this picture I'm going to show you right now. You see how the corners of that workbench are this track? That's how they actually want you to install it. They want the track on the edge of the workbench, so it's it's the proverbial edge of the of the bench. And that doesn't really work very well because then you don't have all of this clamping area. Basically all you have is this clamping area, especially if you're not utilizing the um, the 90 degree track design as they had in that picture. I only wanted one track on my bench surface. I didn't want any more. So that's why I went down the road with instead of the rabbit joint install I did a dado install which was much more detailed and uh, the rest of this video is going to pretty much be about that. Okay so this is where Craig and I parted way as far as uh, how we we're going to attach this to the bench. So the, the track is upside down laying face down on my bench and their plan is to just slip in those hex nuts in that channel and just leave them loosely in there. And when I say loosely, they're very loose and they slide all over the place. So what you're going to do is you're going to end up pre-drilling some holes. I ultimately had eight um, bolts hanging out of that t-track in order to firmly mount it to my bench so you're going to have eight nuts very loosely in that track with pre-drilled holes that you're going to have to come up from the bottom of the bench and try to meet and it's going to be hard and uh, I just I couldn't see success there unless you're going to hot glue them in or CA glue them in and it just sounds like a mess so I flipped it around, went to the store, bought some bolts, longer bolts, and uh, ultimately 
put the hex head side of the bolt into that channel. And as I mentioned earlier, I had eight of them hanging down. Once I flipped the track over, they were just hanging down like studs and uh, pre-drilled inside that dado and then just kind of uh, aligned them with my fingers as I slowly worked the track into the dado and then it was pretty easy and that's how I did it. Okay so uh, with all the bolts in it this thing has shifted this way a little bit so I need to uh, take this uh, BFH and uh, adjust its attitude that way just a little bit. And there we go. I just have about oh, three quarters of an inch of those bolts sticking through in eight spots. So now I'm going to put a washer and a nut on there and just uh, rattle gun them tight. She's all done. Nice and firmly attached. Pardon the sweat, it's like 101 degrees right now, a couple of days after Easter. So I think I'm going to wrap this up for the day, go jump in the boat, and uh, go chill out on a sandbar for uh, at least a few hours, because it's, it's pretty toasty. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked it, like it. If you want to subscribe to me, well, you know what to do. Again, thank you very much for watching. See you later. Jack Pine, over and out.